before. It was the running thing. They ran and high-fived each other. Oh, but first there was assembly bullshit. We're back. Huh? Eric, we're back! There's some from out It's always the pure essence of challenge oh, that burns in an adventurer's heart. Oh, welcome! My People eyes! Here will take all the bullets My you eyes! You better make sure it's a long jump! My eyes! I remember this being hard. Maybe it's just scary. Not hard. It's the fact that you have to. Oh, I thought you just long jump there too. Hey, Michael. Listen. Or die. Oh. So you didn't die at that at all. So I was wrong about that. I'll admit being wrong about that. You did jump off the ledge twice. <sighs> you jumped off. I did not so jump gonna... off. I fell off, okay? <laughs> There's a fucking difference. You see, when people hear that, they're only gonna get one dimension. Of how funny that was, because the second dimension and third, I guess, was your face. The way he said it, he looked like Ripto from Enter the Dragonfly, Riptok, Ripto, whatever his name is. Yeah, your mouth was like opening and you were gesticulating. It was great. <laughs> I did not jump off. I fell off. Oh, kid, like, I'll jump off of a thousand legends before I let this let's play die. <laughs> I'll jump off a thousand legends before I let Amazon die. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how many fucking stars there are in this galaxy. Is this the galaxy with the most stars? You know what I think other, it is? Because it's got- Are there other green star galaxies that also have as many? They have the comet, they have the secret star, they have the green star, and the keem star. <laughs> hey, Eric, look, it's Why are we talking Oh so god, about this one's star. almost as bad as the other one. No, it isn't. I don't even remember this one, and I definitely- This one's pretty bad. I don't remember this one. Like, I mean, I guess I do, but only as much as I like, remember the B one. The B movie. Yeah. Whereas I remember starring Patrick playing. Warburton as the cuckolded husband. <laughs> uh, that's so weird. Did that happen? I like that he starts hating the B. Like, he gets jealous of the B. It's very strange. Yeah. The bee isn't like even having Who made sex. that fucking movie? Is that like. That's I not think like that DreamWorks. Was DreamWorks. Are you sure? Yep. Look it up. I don't think it's DreamWorks. Look it up. Who is the. Who played B Friend? The glasses. Matthew Broderick. That was fucking Matthew Broderick? Are you yep. serious? I'm serious. That's a lot of honey. <laughs> I want to be the thing longer movies. guy. Thing longer? Yeah, you know the guy yeah. that grabs the last bead of honey and saves them millions? Yes. Yes. This <laughs> saves them millions. What is it's one of the most reference? memorable line in the movie. No, it's not. It's not. Well, it's not. The most memorable part was probably when uh, they shot Ray Winnie Leota the Pooh in the back. Wait for my signal. Take him out. We'll have a little nausea for a few hours, then it'll be fine. And uh, then he went, E2, Barry? <laughs> no, that was this fucking level, wasn't it? And yes, it was. <laughs> Full circle. Like those coins. Those like Keemstar cycle of drama. <laughs> what? Oh, right, you're reaching for the Keemstar stuff. <laughs> Whereas before, it was hot stuff, I would say. <laughs> Let's make fun of Keemstar. That's original. Alright, hold on. What was I gonna look up? B movie. Worst title. For DreamWorks movie for these dreamers. It's got 6.2 out of 10 on the IMDb. What How could Jerry be? Seinfeld be let me down like that? Who else is in this movie that I didn't know? I mean, obviously, uh, Renee Zellweger. John Goodman played oh, the, yeah, the played lawyer. The, uh, lawyer. Ray Liotta played himself. Obviously. Duh. Well, what else is he doing? I don't even know what he. What Larry King actually did play Larry B or B Larry King. You know they have a they have a Oprah was the judge. Oh. Kathy Bates played Janet Benson. Was that his mom? Yes. Yes, that is his mom. Um Who played his dad? Barry Levinson. Never heard of him. I don't recognize him. Rip Torn is in this movie as somebody. Who's Rip Torn? He's in a lot of shit. You fucking retard. Sting played himself. Mr. Jim Gordon Cummings. M. Sumner. Jim Cummings was Cummings was the graduation announcer. Are guy. you sure he wasn't Winnie the Pooh? It says graduation announcer. Mm. 
Tress McNeil. She looks familiar, and this name sounds familiar, but I don't know. I think the... You, you remember that Boss B guy? Yeah. I think he's voiced by the same guy who did uh, the pointy-haired boss in the Dilbert cartoon. Huh, oh, really? Yeah, I don't... That's I don't, can't remember his name, it's Larry something. John DiMaggio plays Janitor and Bailiff. Huh. Um, that's That's Bender, knows. right? I think that's Joe DiMaggio. Hmm. This is John DiMaggio. What else does he do? Oh, he plays... yeah, oh, yeah, it is. It is. That is Bender and Jake the dog. For you younger people out there watching your hot Adventure Time and Adventure Time like shows. Like regular show. He's 47. You know, Michael, the thing about regular show is that it starts off regular and becomes less regular as the show Did goes on. Did I say on. that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand that. That's a really <laughs> stupid thing to say. All right, now to get down to the bottom of this. Is the B-movie a DreamWorks movie? It is. Told right, you. End of story. So it's not like Megamind or Monsters vs. Aliens. It was it's... produced by Jerry Seinfeld. Well, yeah, it was a pet And rock. written and starring, obviously. Probably not as good as the show. I mean, not B-movie show, B -movie show Seinfeld. Seinfeld. <laughs> the B-movie show. <laughs> they would make... That would be its name, too. I mean, if its fucking name is The B-movie. Barry Benson. Barry B. Benson. Even worse. I just ignored the middle the middle initial, but then I realized. 2010, really. It was that late? Yeah. Well shit. I know. I thought it was I thought it was like two years earlier. I didn't know that. this movie that well. I was 13. Huh. Why did I watch it as much as I did? Because I definitely watched it many times. Was Maybe it's because our little sister, and we had the, the one of those cars with the DVD players in the back. So we watched a bunch of movies over and over and over again. Like a few movies over and over again. Yeah, like, a, there was that one we Disney... Watched Madagascar over and over again. There was that again. one Disney Christmas one. That, okay, the Disney musical one, what are you doing? Oh. Um, the Disney, like, musical one... Fuck! Why did you do that? Why did you... I, for that? I forgot there was another one up there! Why, why are we waiting then? Because I have to wait for it to come back up because the star is going to be on the fucking other side. Oh, so it's a time thing. And you're yeah. already lost enough time. Okay, alright, what was I saying? Oh, the... Because, um, in that specific car, the disc, like, where you... Yeah, the I was going to say. got stuck. Can open, like, that console in the middle or whatever where the disc thing, the disc reader was. The disc got stuck. So whenever in the car, it's just like, alright, you gotta get, let the kids watch something. But she... Mom said that she secretly threw it away in the trash after they finally got it, like, un- like, No, she didn't yes. secretly- She did. Um, this is some Mario Sunshine bullshit. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, she did secretly throw it in the trash. No, oh, I mean, you like, You might have known, us. I might have known, but Maddie did uh, to be fair. Well, she wouldn't care now. Well, she obviously not now, but back then I feel like she did. You know when you're a kid, you can watch the same shit over and over again? Yeah, you know what? Ethan always talks about that on the show, about That's how true. he used to watch the same movies multiple times. Yeah, you can You can just watch You know the what? Same when I was watching movie. Toy Story 2 again, it was like mind boggling how much of that Boggle. movie I'd memorized. Like, I knew, like, where. I used to have I had the, the soundtrack memorized. I don't know when it came out. I hope this doesn't make me sound really stupid, but I had the entire SpongeBob movie. Re remembered basically, or at least like a good 20 minutes in, line by mm -hmm. line, because I watched it so much. I don't remember how old I was. I hope I wasn't too old. <laughs> I hope I wasn't. This was uh, yesterday, by the way. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> It's a hot joke with great delivery. Good job, Eric. You're getting better at this whole let's ply thing. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta look up the data SpongeBob movie. Did I get I'm talking about the, the new one, by the way. Oh god. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I heard Did that that one was better. It's got 6 out of 10. Am I like on IMDb? Let's be honest, the original SpongeBob movie is, is it's something to sneeze at. Yeah. Yeah. But, um. SpongeBob of Water, which is what the newer one's called. Isn't exactly. Apparently, Antonio Banderas played Burger Beard in that new movie. How old is Clancy Brown? Probably like 60. I think he's older than that, dude. He's 57. Shit. <laughs> uh, oh 
we were both wrong. We, I was wronger. I want show me the original SpongeBob. I just want to know. I just want to know. That's all. You almost what it's rating is? Impression. I just want to know how old it is. 2004. But so I remember the was, SpongeBob movie game? That was 12 years ago. So I was seven when that came out. You remember the SpongeBob movie game? No. I remember. Um, you had to get your tonsils taken out or something like that. No, I never had my. I had some you had tonsils. some kind of operation, and you came back and you like couldn't see or you were just really out of it. Oh, that game! Yeah, I had eye surgery because I had lazy eye. So oh, I digging around in my eyeball. Do you still have lazy eye? Uh, yes, but it's not nearly as bad. Like the fact that you had to ask that question makes <laughs> tells you mm. how. Not severe it is. Let's it is it. time. It is time. We can only stave it off for so long. Pajamas. What was it? Maddie said that Ellie, her friend, her family said pink pajamas something on the bottom. Yeah. And it like fits pink pajamas. Than... Jesus Christ will save you. <laughs> the joke is that this friend that we're talking about is Mormon. Yeah. Yeah. Not, 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 she's not the not annoying type of Norman. The annoying type of Norman. Mormon. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, inherently Mormon, you have to sort of go people's houses, I guess, and you know, do all that shit. Yeah. But and the some people is that revel in it, and some people seem to be like our impartial. sister is like. All three of us are very atheist. Uh, um, yeah. Well. I'm not atheist. Yeah, what the name? I'm that middle one. All right. Whatever that's one called. is none of us. I I don't know what it's are called. Christian. I'm just forgetting How about it that? because I'm fucking tired. None of us are Christian. Yeah. All right. Here's the I'm worst like... star in the game, everyone. God, you ready? What's the, what's the name of that shit? I should know. You no, know, me. I'm the fat and freak knuckles. And we have Pumpkin Hill. <laughs> you ready? Oh, uh, fuck you. I was going to quote unquote help you, but I'm too busy trying to think of what I'm called. <laughs> but it's not. Your name is Eric. No, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Drama alert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a king star, right? Oh god! Get that cluster. Get that fucking cluster. Oh fuck you! God, what is it called? Agnostic. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that the whole time? You instantly yes. died to touch that stuff, by the way. For those wondering. Yeah, it's the same poison shit from that other galaxy with the bubble. That was fun. Um, yeah, I'm like... Oh, and there's a time limit, too. Oh, goody. You didn't know that? Of make course I easy. knew that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, of course I knew it? You said it as though most of them oh, have a time limit. Oh, good. Good for you. Oh, good for you. I'm trying to think what that is from. What's what the is Christian from. Barrel rant? Yes, that's right. The oldest meme in the book. <laughs> that's not the oldest meme, but it's definitely a hot, a hot classic. That's a retro meme, I believe they're called. Retro, retro meme. Retro. Metropolis zone. Retro. What's what's the oldest meme? Probably all your base. Yeah. That's the oldest one I know of, anyway. Is firing your laser? That's pretty old. There's like a group of like memes from that little era. I'm a firing my laser. You know ones uh, that like aren't really funny. Yeah, no. <laughs> as opposed to the memes we have now, <laughs> which are just hilarious. Sponge guard. <laughs> what what are ones that we talk about on the show all the time? The sons to me. Or, what was it? Don't you talk to, me, talk to me or my sons ever again? Yeah. Uh, we reference hot memes all the time on this. First one. try. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's harder than you think. Harder than Michael Mayer. I had, I had much good job, more Michael. trouble da on Daredevil Top Man. Good job. Yeah. Uh, the second loudest scream, I believe, was produced from Top Man. <laughs> the second well, loudest. I like how we have enough screams that you can rank them. Uh, the first loudest was definitely that one. We listened to the, the scream. From before we fought Bowser, I mean, the final boss. <laughs> yeah, before in the final dungeon. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck, game? Wasting our time. You were just there. 
Yeah. Cool. Why couldn't they have given it to us? Why can't oh, they all just be there? available? I thought you just decided you didn't want to do it at the time. No, just... Why can't you just that. do it whenever you want? So like, once you beat the final dungeon, you could just go That's do what it. he said to her. <laughs> Stick it in my hole. That's what she said to her. <laughs> what? Wait. <laughs> okay. Canonically, they are lesbian, yes. <laughs> Canonically. <laughs> the way you phrased all of that from start to finish was pretty good. What is this one? Is this just... It's on those? the garden cube thing. Where we chase the bunny. Ah, uh, oh, yes! Good times! Oh, you remember this? Yes. Dude, he made me experience high time! Oh, oh. <laughs> what a he burned our water supply, poisoned our crops, and delivered a plague onto our houses! He did? No! Right. But are we gonna sit around until he does? Can we, I would like to point out that I, while I couldn't be certain, ex I don't remember exactly how that quote goes, you started with that he burned our water yeah. supply. So, I can canonically say <laughs> that that was incorrect. <laughs> Good one. Good one. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad That's I'm a Michael approved it. joke. <laughs> that means it's Amazon approved too. Yeah. You get free shipping on that joke, Eric. <laughs> He's come around to it, guys. Before he was mad at it and he was angry at everything, now he likes it. He likes the Amazon joke. <laughs> Did, are there more than 100 coins here? The Amazon Prindle. <laughs> Prindle. Yeah, you remember that from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? No. How, uh, London Tipton called How the stick shift- the fucking Kindle? The, oh, she, the, you're ta you, oh, she you're ta called the stick shift the Prindle. Because parking, rear, reverse. Uh oh. Neutral, okay. drive, and do whatever it was. Well, it's like you made the Kindle. you made the connection, not Kindle, and I'm mispronouncing it as Prindle. Okay, so you made. I thought you said the sweet life of Zach and Cody call it the no, Amazon no, no, Prindle. No, 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 that's not what I said. Or Amazon Prindle. Drama alert. I have a. You. I wonder. You know, in all those shows, how they have like a fake version of Max and they exclusively yeah. use Max, but it's like a pair instead. Yeah. Do you well, think Apple still paid them? That's a good question, because if they, if they were know, as an right? advertisement, they wouldn't cover it up. But they might. I don't know. Maybe they... I don't know. I think they just use Max. No, they don't. They use... Maybe in Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, but I know that in, like, iCarly, they're always talking about their pair of phones and their pair tops or whatever the fuck they're called. Yeah, nobody they showed the logo, But they showed Max. the logo all the time and talked about it all the time, so it feels like it's an advertisement. Mm. At the same time, they didn't use Macs. Well, I mean, like, in Drake and Josh, I remember Megan had a Mac. She just covered it up with stickers that looked nothing like a pair. Huh. So I know for certain that in later shows. Don't ask I me Carly how I know for certain. Does. Don't ask me how I know for certain. I love iCarly. I mean... <laughs> iCarly... Is that as bad as I remember it? I remember hating it. Is it is even worse. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Holy shit, there are a lot of coins in this fucking place. I, thought, I was asking if there were only 100. It's one of those 150 situations. That was a generous time limit. Yep. So, yeah, I wonder. I wonder if you know, if you worked on iCarly and you're watching this. <sighs> sorry for saying your show. Well, you know bad. what? You wonder what's really funny. It. It's, it's like, so you remember Spyro Attack of the Rhinox for the Game Boy Advance, right? Yes. Yes. So I remember this Hadox thing. did a review of it, yes. and then someone on Twitter is just like, Hey, I helped develop I were, this game. I saw that. I saw that. Didn't he talk a little shit on it? And he's like... No, 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 that was the one of the three he liked. Okay. And the guy was German. I feel like he, if you worked on one 2D Spire game, you probably worked on more yeah, than I one. Yeah, I think you're probably right. So... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, I remember seeing that though. And plus, when you work on a game, it's not like like you made it yourself. You know what I mean? I never did watch that ET documentary thing. It's actually ET the porno. <laughs> we did watch that. We watched that. <laughs> we didn't watch the the legitimate thing. See, the thing is, you'd think it'd be like, all right, whatever. They're going and digging up the cartridges. That's not the interesting part. The interesting part is seeing like the developer, the guy who developed it, and 
Howard yeah. Scott Warshaw? The guy who, yeah, the guy who was the head of Atari at the time. Talk about it. Some other really big, like, important people. Seeing their opinions and stuff like that and sort of documenting and, and how, what the reaction was and how people blamed it as the downfall of Atari. That game mm -hmm. exclusively, which is a ridiculous statement and... I don't know, that, that sort of stuff was a lot more interesting than the... Excavation, where they looked mm. for it and found cartridges. It's weird because the AVGN, like Sorry I brought for this the up, spoiler alert. I, brought I don't know what that documentary is called, called, but it's pretty interesting. But like I, mean, I brought this up the last time we talked someone. about it, but um, the AVGN movie was about digging up ET cartridges in the yep. New Mexico desert as well. I'm aware of that. I just haven't seen and it. And the explanation they gave for it was that a spa the Roswell spaceship was made of space tinfoil. And the, to hide the space tinfoil, they made the AT cartridges and put some of the space tinfoil on every cartridge. It's just a joke, right? Yeah. So, it's not You're saying it with scene. venom. Because it's a stupid plot that no one wanted. And it, it's not <laughs> Nobody even a, wanted this, James. It's not even James a funny story. James Rolf, get out of here. Michael's got a movie. The my, the EPG Amazon movie is going so much better. <laughs> Drama alert. <laughs> featuring EPG. Featuring um, Amazon, the Amazon Trindle, or Prindle. I'm sorry. Like if you grew up with Zack and Cody. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe if you love Keemstar. L U V with multiple V's, two V's. So it's like suck. <laughs> Why didn't you long jump, you fucking goon?